What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. This the chances of is gonna be the crazy. Reventon Roadster, one in 700 million. <laughs> Costing a cool $250,000 more than the Reventon, this car is also limited to only 20 examples. 20 in the With world. 40 years of building open top cars, Roadsters are a way for Lamborghini to add that extra emotional component to their technological expertise. Where the engine in the Reventon was a tuned version of the LP640's engine, the Reventon Roadster features an engine almost identical to the one used in the hardcore LP670 4 Super Veloce. Unlike the Reventon, the exclusive paint used has a matte grey finish that is brought to life in sunlight due to the inclusion of metal particles. The wheels are formed of five Y-form spokes, which include a carbon crescent-shaped fin that helps cool the brakes even further. Those fins help the brakes cool. That's how technologically advanced and and just you know purposeful this car is so welcome back we are going to be hopping behind the wheel of one of the most rare lamborghinis of all time today and so uh, we're going to see we're going to see what we can do shout out to lambo for letting us borrow this thing for the afternoon let's get after it and let's let's get into it baby my goodness this thing is so beautiful look look at that gray that is just incredible. So we've got 4.6 miles in 1 minute and 48 seconds. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to be in this thing for too long, but uh, we're going to make the most of it while we can. You guys can see we've got the, the fence extending once we get up to speed to give us that extra downforce that we want. If we're not going fast enough, they'll drop back down. But then once we get back up to top speed, they're going to come back out. I mean, this thing this is essentially a drop-top fighter jet right here. Looks like it, sounds like it, performs like it, has speeds like it. Watch this. It's got wings that'll come up like it. Look at that, dude. 172. Pop them bad boys up and let's see if we can take off. Whew. We're good. All right. About halfway done, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to spin the entire episode with this girl, but, uh, dude, I... The gray looks so nice. I knew they had like a special matte gray. I didn't know they incorporated uh, metal flakes into it to catch the sun and make it sparkle. But you can definitely, it's, it's got like a nice sheen to it. Watch out for that. I remember this, this race kind of gave us a little bit of trouble in our last cop episode. There's just so much drifting going on. It's hard to see what's coming around that next corner. I mean, if it was, if it was without traffic, we could do it no problem, but with the traffic on it, just it makes things a little bit more, a little bit more intense. We're fine. No big deal. Just a, a one of 20 Lambo. Not, not a big deal at all. Multiple million dollars to be able to buy it. Holy cow. We, we didn't make it. Dude, we didn't, we didn't make it by a long shot. We didn't even make silver. I've never performed that poorly. So look, I, I realized that was, you know, not my best performance ever. I realized we could have been a little bit smoother, but we, we typically, you know, kind of coast our way to, to victories in a lot of these, these challenges. So I, I mean, losing by 10 plus seconds is, is just surprising to me that's all so we're, we're really I, I, th I think our biggest thing was we didn't really focus on the uh, the nitrous building in that last one here so we're just we're really gonna focus on building as much nitrous as possible I mean we don't even really have to have to drift through there we can pretty much just you know keep it stuck to the ground and, and get a little bit more speed out of it. Obviously, we didn't take any shortcuts either, which is, is going to shave off, you know, maybe a second. But man, we, I mean, that was, that was just not good. So we've got another, we've got a shortcut off to the right, but we're not going to be able to take that. So we're just, we're going to focus on building as much nitrous as possible. Obviously, through this next drift segment, we're going to have all the nitrous in the world. So let's use what we can while we can. We're gonna come into here, build it back up. I'm trying to get oncoming nitrous and the drift nitrous. I mean, this is way cleaner. We didn't have any issues like we did in the first one, bro. We are flying. Got the near miss there. We're gonna stay in oncoming traffic. We're gonna be careful. I'm a little bit nervous about this corner. This is the last thing that could throw a hitch in our plans, but we're fine. Try to get the near miss. I don't think we were close enough. We are gonna get full nitrous from the oncoming. 
come around this way. We've got a straight to the finish. Dude, what in the world? Okay, this one... I mean, we... I'm not going to say we beat it with no problem, but we beat it. We'll take it. And I felt like that was a really clean run right there. That was a challenging, challenging setup. But uh, able to take home the gold. That's all that matters. We're going to unlock ourselves a brand new car. Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. The drop top. Let's go, baby. I like it. All right. Just going to keep moving onward, moving upward, try to make our way. You know, obviously... Last episode, we got into these supercars. I'm excited to be able to get into the, the hypercars and stuff. Just going to have to make our way slowly but surely. So let me see. These these aren't available. We're going to have to stick back here. I'm going to go with the 911 GT3 RS. This thing's a, a boss. I'm going to go with the white. You guys know we've already kind of raced this thing before. I don't really like the spec they have on it with the red decals. I think it looks kind of chinzy, but it's all right. So here we go. We've got a race. Be the first to cross the finish line. Let's do it. Seven and a half miles. Sounds like we've got some inclement weather rolling in. So here we go. Got the 918 Spider in front of us. Bright pink. Interesting. This is all Porsche, baby. Got a strict Porsche race here. So we're going to try to get some slipstreaming and oncoming rolling at the same time. Beautiful work. Let's just build this up as much as we can. Let me grab a near miss real quick. There it is. Could have taken that shortcut. Would have been big for us, but we're going to be fine. And here we go. Time to lift off. Let's go. Dude, that, that 918 is going to be really hard to beat. I'm not going to lie. And who, who's all the way up there in front? This is not good. All right. Well, we're going to take some shortcuts. We're going to get hit by our compadres. Heading into it, but we're going to be fine. Dude, who's all the way up front? What is this? It's like the game got infinitely harder from this episode to compared to, you know, any other episode in the past. Here we go. we got to work on nitrous. Work on nitrous. 5.3 miles left in this race, so we got plenty of time, but obviously don't want to dilly-dally for too long. These guys are all over us, running into us, cutting us off, getting in our line. Dude, this thing... Saves up nitrous like it's nobody's business. Come on, baby. I gotta get through here. Watch out for the oncoming traffic. My goodness, dude. Alright. Got a nice straight here. 918's getting in our way. Don't worry, I'll, I'll run your million dollar supercar down. I'll run it over. Come on, baby. I'm gonna take the shortcut. We have not taken this shortcut before. Ooh, 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 okay. That was not ideal. All right, about three miles left. We do have another little shortcut. Looks like most everyone is gonna end up taking down through the mine shaft here. We're gonna be able to cross the street to be able to get in through here, through the train station. We've been here before. Gaining a wee bit of nitrous for taking the shortcuts, but not a whole lot. Two solid seconds behind second place. Dude, this is not looking good. I don't know what's up with today, but apparently we just, we, we didn't come to show up. Come on, baby. Let's build up that nitrous here at the end and let's, let's have a nice run at it. Good drift. There we go. Gonna start getting into the slipstream. One mile to the finish. I'm going to take the shortcut. No clue where I'm going, dude. No clue at all. Come on, baby. No! Dude, we didn't get him this time, too. What? We are close. I, I don't know what to tell you. Really, honestly, do appreciate that this game's getting harder. I, I felt like, you know, earlier on in some of the, the very early episodes, I mean, it was kind of an easy game. There was a bit of rubber banding, which made it a little bit unfair, and obviously that's that's not that fun. Like, I want something where I'm really honestly having to try. That guy just ate it back there. I'd love to see that. Um, I, I think, you know, we, we missed a couple of shortcuts in that last one, and we also, we did run into the wall on that one shortcut. And honestly, I think a couple of the shortcuts 
I mean, so they're, they're shorter distance-wise, but sometimes you might be better off to stay on the road and, and you know, gain the, the drift multiplier to your nitrous score or the, the, you know, drafting multiplier and stuff like that. I mean, you get a little bit for going off-road, but not, not much. Let's not run into anything this time. But, I mean, like, we, we just did that and we, we you know... Lost out time on the first place, guys. So I'm, I'm thinking sometimes, now this one might be an exception, I'm not sure. I'm thinking sometimes coming out here to be able to get the extra drift boosts might actually end up being a better idea. Here we go. We're into first. Got about 1.7 miles left. Shoot, dude, this, I mean, this is, this is very not easy. See, like here on this this final corner, I think I'm gonna stay out. I don't I don't think I'm gonna go in that that thing. We're gonna stay on the road. We're gonna keep our speed up. We're gonna be able to get a little bit of drift and get a lot of of you know opposing traffic angle, and then we're gonna be able to burn all that nitrous that we got, and be able to come away with the win. So interesting. I think sometimes the the shortcuts are more detrimental than you realize. So we we took that one pretty easy there. Both of them. You know, started off not great, second second round was better, so I guess we're just a, a two-pump chump today. Oh boy! We've got ourselves a Countach here, and we're gonna be picking on the cops. Can you imagine doing that to a cop through a double yellow? That is the most savage thing I think I've ever seen in my life. That is terrifying. Alright, we've got six spike strips, two jammers. I mean, I would, I would end his life with this spike strip right here. Going that fast? Yeah, he's, he's done so. We've got one turbo as well. Gonna be going 10, 10 miles, 430 is gonna be our, our goal. Woo! Use as much nitrous as we can and, and let's just, let's just get after it, baby. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it seems like the Countach might, might pick up quite a bit of nitrous too. We just drop another, uh, drop another spike strip on him. Looking good. Woo! Okay. We'll take it. Get a couple of near misses here. Beautiful. Get some oncoming traffic. I think there was, nope, nobody up over the hill. We're good. You really got to keep your eyes peeled way out in front. So we got some headlights coming. See if we can get a couple of, couple of near misses there. I'm gonna come through here, let's go, let her rip. Oh my goodness, we're getting all the oncoming boost. We've got a turbo, do we wanna use it or do we wanna build? I'm gonna use it. We're gonna use it and we're gonna stay in oncoming because we're just savage like that. Get the near miss. Oh my goodness, bro. All right, so we've got two jammers. Remember, we can use those against uh, against spike strips. Typically, you wouldn't think you'd be able to. We're not going to use our nitrous uphill because it doesn't work as well. We're going to use this moment to to capture it. I I overcorrected left there. That's my bad. Hundred percent my bad. All right, let's just keep going. We're going to be fine. I, I pressed right, and I thought I pressed right too hard, so that I cut it back left. Then obviously, we didn't even press right hard enough. It's Honestly, it's hard to make tiny maneuvers in this game. Like to be able to stay directly in, in one little lane, it's 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 not easy. So I'm gonna accept fault on that one for sure. Woo! Dude, this game is so insane, I love it. Got a corner coming up, so we're just Ooh, okay. Alright. We could have used our jammer right there, but I'm honestly not too worried about it. Mostly, got him, beautiful. Mostly worried about just, just getting this done. Just actually getting the gold in the first try. We've had a couple of issues so far. Oh, they got aerial support. Beautiful work, knock them into each other, love to see it. 
Unit down. Unit down. Requesting EMS. Now, if I jam, is that going to take the copper out right now? Level 1 aerial unit. I just hit jammer, but I don't think it did anything. Yeah, it definitely, definitely didn't do anything. Oof. Uh, or I actually, I think it might have gotten rid of him. Nope, he's up here in front of us. I'm going to drop that on him. Be able to take out a hit. Guy in front of us, if we run into him, he's going to die. I think we've got a roadblock in front of us, but there's nothing we're going to be able to do about that. I'm going to jam it. Spike strip has been jammed. Beautiful. We didn't have any other way around it, so that was fantastic strategy. Drop a spike strip, hit one of them. We've pretty much foregone the uh, the whole, you know, time trial aspect, and we're just taking the fight to the cops here. We got 1.1 miles and a minute to do it. Should have no problem. Should have taken the... I'm going to use it. I should have taken the, the shortcut there. That was a big mistake. My car's down. I need someone to take this guy. No jammers, no spike strips left, but we got to straight to the finish. We got 25 seconds to be able to do it. We got a full tank of NOS. Outrunning them, outgunning them. That's how we do it. All that just for passing a cop on the right over a double yellow. Like a savage. That's kind of fun. I feel like we, we played that very methodically. Sometimes we, we just kind of spam random stuff and get lucky, but I feel like that one, every move was calculated. Every move was purposeful. Got ourselves a Lambo Murcielago, my goodness, dude. I'm gonna make this thing in Verde Ithaca, and that is probably my favorite Lambo of all time. I like it in yellow a lot too, but I like it in the green. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 is what, what made me fall in love with that car. So let's see, do we have one where we can use it? Experience the unbridled ferocity of the Mercedes-Benz SL65 Black Series. All right. It's gonna do a, a showcase event here. It's on loan. These things are nice though. Definitely, definitely pretty tough. Although development officially began in 2006, the SL65 AMG Black Series is the culmination of more than 40 years of dedication to performance. One man, one engine. Each AMG 6 liter V12 bi turbo engine is hand built by a single engineer before it's lowered into the body. To optimize the power to weight ratio, the engine power has been increased to 661 bhp and the car's weight has been reduced by 250 kilograms. One engineer makes that entire engine. That's crazy. The dedication, the attention to detail, it's pretty incredible. Let's see what she can do. Power trip, 6.8 miles, 1 o'clock p.m. Looks like we're gonna be on the main highway system, so we're gonna be pulling some crazy top speeds. This is gonna be fun. Hopefully this is kinda of like that one we did with the Aston Martin in our, our last cop episode. Gonna be racing Aston Martin one-on-one, -on -one. all right. Here we go. We got the Germans against the British. Let's see how this one plays out. Let me go ahead and uh, get behind this guy, get some slip streaming. I'm just going to stay behind him for a while and just keep collecting it. I mean, we could pass him right now, but we're not going to be able to pass him by much. So we're just, we're just going to collect it, collect some near misses. All right. And then we're going to be ready to blow his doors off. There we go. So we got 5.3 miles of race ahead of us. Shoot, I knew that wasn't gonna work very well. All right. We just gotta, gotta play it safe. Let's just let's just sit in his rear view mirror, catch a little slipstream, build up our nitrous, and let her rip when we're ready. See, the problem is we could kinda pass him right now, but I'm, I'm just gonna stay behind him. Let's go! <laughs> See ya! He's going to end up catching back up to us because the game rubber bands like that. It, it, it wants you to have a good, exciting race all the way till the end. That was fantastically played, though. Fantastically played. 100% executed that on purpose, and it worked like a charm. 
I think he should catch up. Maybe not. I don't know. Are we going to be able to... Oh, we are getting oncoming this time. I think as a cop, you don't get oncoming bonus. Which would make sense. The, the police force wouldn't want you to, to be driving like that. Go ahead and stop and turn into me. Seems like a good idea. Seems like a real, real great idea right there. I am not going to do oncoming into the tunnels, though. That is a, a bad idea. Get a little bit of drifting action. I'll do oncoming out here. I mean, it's it's a little bit little bit sketchier, but sometimes you gotta you gotta go for it if you want it. Finish line's right here. We're gonna be able to get him. He never caught back up. All right, we'll take it. Again, well crafted strategy, perfectly executed. We're making some good moves today. Had to shake off the the you know the silvers and bronzes in the first couple of events, but uh, we're holding it together. So let's see what we've got next. Going to go to our next one down here on the south coast to coast. Choose your favorite convertible supercar and enjoy the view while racing through the farmland of Seacrest County at speeds of 200 miles per hour. All right. So we're not going to be able to rock the... Uh, I really wanted to do the, the Murcielago. We are going to be able to do the Gallardo Spider, though. We'll take this. I'm thinking... I mean, the orange looks good. To add to the already exhilarating performance and handling characteristics of the Gallardo LP564, Lamborghini are adding a new dimension in their most successful Gallardo range by offering a Spider. Thanks to an optimized four-wheel drive system and a refinement to its suspension and weight, the Spider remains easy to control and stable, even when its razor-sharp steering is being pushed to the limits. The V10 has an unusually wide angle of 90 degrees between cylinders, which contributes to lowering the center of gravity. 90 degrees between cylinders huh all right so we've got our orange Lamborghini convertible and uh, we're gonna whip this thing around the coast and see what we can do be the first to cross the finish line let's get it 12.3 miles oh it's at nighttime I typically think of you know drop top cruising during the day enjoying the views that sort of thing but here we go let's get it got R8s we've got Corvettes We've got Aston Martins. That's so funny that the, I mean, I wouldn't consider it a supercar in real life, but it's a supercar in terms of performance. I mean, nowadays you could get, you know, this Lambo for what, like 150, 200, 220, something like that. You could get that Corvette for probably like 40 grand. And we're talking about similar, if not better performance specs. That's just insane to think about. We're already out here in first place. That feels pretty good. Let's just go ahead and not give that back up would be my ideal. I really like, so this, I, I think this was like a special color specifically for this Lambo. It looks nice, I like it. Got a 918 Spider that's trying to say something to us. Gonna try to fight back a bit. I love hitting the nitrous and seeing the taillights blend off into the distance. It's pretty cool. Watch out for oncoming headlights. I can see them coming up. Looks like we do have a shortcut on the left up here. I don't see where to enter it. Yep, right here. Ooh. Okay. Wasn't sure. Okay, that was unfortunate. I just wasn't sure where we were going. It's When you're going that, that hard, I, I saw the hay bales, and I was like, do we want to go through the hay bales and get back to the road? Are we going to be taking a left? What are we doing? I don't know. Woo! Look at that, just threading the needle. I'd love to push some of these guys into one of those cars. Again, if we get the chance. Get that near miss. We got the oncoming. I'm gonna get the oncoming mix with the slipstream. We got 7.3 miles left. Get that downhill nitrous. We are definitely gonna be playing this close so we don't hit the box truck and then we can can go through here. Beautiful work. I guess we'll take the second one as well. We've got like the service entrance of the dam down here. Just gonna keep on grinding. I think the racers get extra nitrous boost on the shortcuts too, whereas the cops don't. They get a little bit, but uh, uh, from what I can tell, it's it's not nearly as much. Beautiful work, dude. 
Man, it just took a couple of mess ups at the start and we've just, we've got some very clean racing happening, huh? A little bit nervous about this. Never know what to expect coming around these corners, but we're good, all right. Perfect exit out of there. Just gonna keep doing our thing. We've got our double loop-to-loop -loop in this section of the map. I will say, I, I feel like we're, I mean, obviously all the races all start from the same points and they've got different routes. I, I feel like I'm seeing a lot of the same map being repeated in races pretty close to each other now. Oh my goodness, dude, is this a joke? That was so clean, and we're gonna come out of it with a full tank of nitrous just ripping it, dude. Gonna come through here, let's run over the helipad marker. We're gonna have this left, and then we're gonna have another drift, this time downhill, I believe. Drift the loop the loop. Let's make sure we use all of our nitrous going into it, because of course we're gonna have, oh. That shortcut there looked pretty solid. I think you, I think you cut off a lot of time if you take that shortcut. Oh no, it wasn't available to us actually. It was blocked off. Absolute perfection right here. This car is so well balanced. I've heard that about these, these Gallardos. Is that they're, they're truly like, from a driving perspective, just incredible. More so than like any Aventador or anything like that. Like they're, they're just, you know, power to weight and handling and stuff like that is, is second to none. Not even like, you know, Ferrari 458s and 488s and, and stuff handle as well. I mean, that, that was just absolute perfection. We're gonna be switching gears here a little bit and so uh, we're gonna be moving into a hot pursuit in the sports car class. Previous conviction, 10 and a half miles in a 911 turbo. Let's get after it. Gonna eat these guys alive. What do we have? RX-8s, 370Zs. Yes, yeah, this, this is gonna be light work here. We got two turbos, four EMPs, three jammers, and four spike strips. It's kinda wild. Let me see if we can get in front of this dude and cut off road. Beautiful work so far. We're off to a very nice start. Gotta love when you're, uh, off to a, a quick one. Oh gosh, where's... Yes! We should have gone left right there to be able to go through the, the, the shortcut, but we're fine. So we've, we've got jammers, we've got spike strips, we've got all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna use a spike strip. I mean, using spike strips against racers is typically not the best idea, but I'm just kind of kind of bored and just gonna have some fun with it here. For in front, we might as well kind of toy around with them a little bit, right? Be careful. All right, that's not ideal. That guy nearly lost his life back there. We gotta, we gotta, fi <laughs> gotta figure out a, a place to be able to use this turbo, but we're gonna need a lot more straight than what we've seen so far. Not sure what that cop was doing behind us. He just ran straight into the wall. You love to see it though. All right, we're we're looking pretty good. Looks like we might have a turbo opportunity coming around this corner. Let's go. Activate it. As soon as we hit the straight, we're gone. Sayonara. Oh my goodness, dude. I love it. I love all the racing noises and stuff. It sounds like a distant F1 race or something when you activate that. I already missed the F1 series, man. F1 season. I missed the series, too. But I missed the season even more. I don't know. I might, I might miss the series more. I don't know. You know, obviously right now it's kind of a weird time with gaming. We don't have a lot of games coming out and stuff. Maybe we'll have to bring it back for another season sometime soon. Well, or maybe, maybe when the, the real life season restarts, maybe we'll do it then. Might make a little bit more sense just because people will be in the mood and give us stuff to talk about and whatever else. Here we go. We got four and a half miles left to go and there's, I mean, there's well, nobody in sight. We've got a Lancer Evo 10. We might have to end up dealing with. Oh, and we got a chopper. The thing about the chopper is we're just going to be able to jam his, his spike strips. Be able to get through there. Beautiful work. We're going to be fine. Just try to build up some nitrous, which we're up to the max of. We're going to come around this corner. There's going to be a spike strip on the ground. There's no doubt about it. Maybe not. 
it's up here. Oh my goodness, dude. I thought we were going to have enough space and we didn't. That was way too close. Alright, we're 2.6 seconds ahead of second. Gonna be able to jam their, their EMP that they're trying to use against us. But that means we are gonna have another jammer ready for our next spikes trip. Unless it gets here quickly. There it is. Alright, we got it. I'm looking for a straight to be able to use this uh, this turbo. If we can. Get through there perfectly. I'm gonna drop a roadblock. I'm gonna go far around to the left. One of the guys underneath us, he, he took the service road on the dam, which is not good for us. He might, ah, he's not gonna end up coming out in front of us. I'm gonna go off road to be able to avoid the chopper. Got 0.6 miles left. We're gonna come around this corner, we're gonna use our turbo, and then we're gonna jam the, the chopper. Here we go, jam it. Beautiful. Take that down and then use our turbo. Goodbye! Let's go. Got ourselves the win. All right. Again, just kinda using everything in our bag of tricks. Making sure we take advantage of every opportunity. Got ourselves a brand new whip. The Porsche 911 Turbo. Not the most exciting thing in the world. This is going to be better. Lambo. Oh, this is the 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 Sesto Elemento, I think. I'm pretty sure that's that's what they call it. it I, the six there kind of threw me off a little bit, but I, I'm pretty sure it's called the Sesto Elemento. So we've got a super serious time machine there. Let me let me see. I, I kind of want to use the Sesto Elemento. Ooh. <gasps> or maybe not. What? The Grand Sport delivers without compromise the pinnacle of luxury and driving performance. The world's fastest convertible car defies conventional categories and defines its own. With a twin clutch gearbox and seven gears, the eight liter quad turbocharged W16 delivers an unrelenting 1,250 Newton meters of torque all the way up to its record breaking top speed of over 400 kilometers per hour. When braking from top speed, the rear spoiler becomes an air brake, helping to stop the car in just 10 seconds. 10 seconds. An elegantly swept back windscreen and rear window with corresponding shape and size guarantee ideal visibility as well as turbulence free airflow. This car's just so inspiring, man. Like, uh, it... Bugatti's got to be pretty much everybody's favorite car, right? I mean, I realize it's it's not your favorite, but like, it's it's up there. It's so inspiring. The technology, the the looks of it the uniqueness the speed the the everything about it it's just it's incredible this is an incredible incredible vehicle nothing beats it in a lot of ways and now here we are we're going to be taking it on the top speed run through the desert let's not run into the uh into the wall there Trev. we're going to go 10.9 miles in three minutes and 30 seconds that is an average of over 180 miles per hour. So we're we're really oh shoot, okay. Well that was that was not ideal. We're really gonna have to have to have to beef this up a bit here, Trev. Come on, baby. Here we go. Come on. Most of this race is gonna be made up in the uh, in the straights if we get to them. Um, uh, we we have to get to some crazy straights, otherwise it's just not even possible for us to do this. We've got nine miles to go in, in two minutes and 45 seconds. But here we go. See, we're, we're up to the 180. We're just going to start ripping it, dude. 233 miles an hour, 236. Are you freaking kidding me? This is so ridiculous. And look at this. We're Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save our nitrous. We're going to be coming up on a really long straight. This is pure... Insanity what we're about to do right now. Let's use a little bit because we're gonna gain some back Try to get some near misses. Dude, that was a pretty tough Side swipe that we had back there Make it through there We're good 225 come on. I want to I want to hit top speed. What's top speed like 2 250 something 252 256 I'm Not 100% sure, but I know it's somewhere close to that Give me a straight Give me a straight and I'm saving my... Okay. I'm saving my nitrous for it. 
I mean, we aren't quite going to be here. we got about five miles left with a... A minute and a half to do them. That is so insane to think about. Just how fast this is. 229. Watch out for cars here, Trev. We're good. Here we go. This is where I was trying to get to. Somewhere with the long, straight... Ooh, I hate that we had to break right there. All right, let's 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 get her up to speed here. 226. Come on, baby. No traffic, please. Oh, my gosh. 241. <laughs> what? 250. 253. We're going to... Ah, Trev. I thought we were going to have to pull it way earlier than that, if you want me to be honest. I, I, I thought we had goofed it up. But we didn't. I think we still have time. We got it up to 255, didn't we? Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get some ongoing traffic. Build up this nitrous. We got a, a, a close near miss as well. There we go. Get back it on coming. 1.2 miles and, and 20 seconds. This, sh this shouldn't be possible. This is just so incredible. I mean, it's, I know it's possible. To, I'm just saying, like, from an engineering perspective, it shouldn't be possible to be able to go this fast. This is just, just so outrageous. That was amazing. This game does a good job of, of, like, feeling the speed. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes in racing games when you're going super fast like that, like, yeah, it's kind of crazy, but it doesn't really feel like you're going that fast. Of course, wanted for extreme speeding. Sorry, officer, for going 255 miles per hour. I promise, sir, I won't do that again. Unlock the GTR. My girl. Old school version, though. 2009. Gonna be hopping in the SLS AMG up next. Ooh, I kinda like that. Desert Gold. We've already heard this from the, the comp episode that we did last, but that Desert Gold looks nice. Kind of a bit of a gold, but a little bit, you know, more of a brown undertone, a little bit less intense. 8.2 miles, what do we have here? Is this... Oh, times machine, I'm gonna assume this is... This is just straight up racing. Oh, this is... This is a beautiful color, I like it a lot. We got three minutes and three seconds to go 8.0 miles. So let's see what we can do. I mean, that... I'm gonna be honest, that feels a little bit aggressive, especially for the area of the, the world that we're in and the fact that it's, it's slick, but... We're gonna try our best. Come around here. Dude, this thing feels heavy. It feels kind of like the, the Dodge Charger that we used uh, quite a few episodes back. It feels just big and heavy and boaty and obviously the water's not helping. Got to use some nitrous here. Let's get off road. Should be able to just pretty much go straight through. Gain a little bit back for our shortcut. We're going to have another shortcut on the left coming up here. Okay. We probably should have just foregone it, but to be honest, this is a pretty solid shortcut. It cuts off a lot on that corner, so... I think we, I think we made the right call. I think that was a good call. We probably should have taken that one on the right, too. Shoot, dude, this is... This is going to be kind of a tough one, huh? They're really kind of throwing us to the wolves here. Here we go. Got to focus on gaining nitrous, Trev. That's one of the biggest things in this game. Stay in the oncoming lane. Get a nice drift through here. Woo. All right. Okay. That, that was enough to make my, my rear end pucker a bit. Oh my goodness. We're going to be fine getting up to the top speed. 199 miles an hour. What a what a joke, dude. What a slow poke. This thing does feel a little bit slow. I'm not going to lie to you. It's it's it is It is uh I guess hard to compare after you were just in a Bugatti. We do have a bit of a straight here, so we're just we've got this thing locked out at 203, 204. 205 and climbing. 208, 209, 210. All right. Looks like 20. 
Let's say that 206 is our red line. 205 without nitrous. Got to get some of these near misses to be able to gain a little bit back. Got about 0.7 miles left. All right, this was kind of a fun one. I didn't think we were going to be able to make gold for a while there, but obviously having a straight like this at the end helped us out quite a bit. Just got to maneuver our way around these cars, and bam, look at that. We had 10 seconds left to spare. My goodness, dude. Whew. We've just had some, some white-knuckle driving these last couple rounds. Hopping in the speedster, eh? All right. So we got to know this thing. I've already listened to that. We got to know this thing in the last episode with the cops. I like that we're kind of like staying fairly close in line. So we, we kind of know what to expect. And we've got some familiarity with some of these vehicles as we unlock them. But um, yeah, Speedster and Baby Blue, Barnstormer. Is it raining? We're racing a highly expensive, highly rare Porsche convertible in the rain seems like a good idea. We've got jammers, we've got spike strips, we've got Lambo cops, and we've got EMPs, baby. It's just gonna be us, though. Us against the clock. Cops are gonna try to stop us wherever they can, but we're obviously not gonna let that happen. All right. Just flying here. I'm putting together units ahead of your position. Maintain current route. I'm gonna go around him. Be able to build up a little bit of nitrous on that oncoming traffic, but it didn't do much for us. Dude, we're already up to our top speed. We're gonna be going six miles and three and a half seconds, or more than that, really. Probably closer to eight or whatever we were on at the very start. We need more nitrous, is the problem. So let me just get, get real close to these fools. Remember, our jammers are going to be super clutch. I think we might... Ooh, I was going to say, I think we might be outrunning the helicopter right now. Which would be pretty incredible. He's going to get out in front of us. He's going to drop a spike strip. If we can evade it, let's evade it. But remember, that's what the... Uh, oh, shoot. I can't see anything. That's that's what our, our jammers are for. I think... Yeah, we're going to need to jam this one. We might have been able to go around the side, but we'll play it safe. Try to save our spike strip so we really needed to. Should have taken that, that shortcut right there. That was that was a big mistake. Those cops thought they had caught up to us. Not quite. Jammer's online. I'm going to take the, uh, the shortcut here. Be able to stay out of sight of the chopper. Woo! Got us to another one, so he's not going to be able to drop it there. I mean, should we... Should we continue evading him? I'm going to jam him. They can't EMP us, so I'm going to drop that. Just because I feel like they're getting a little bit too close. Got him. Hit him with the spike strip. We got a chopper in front of us here, so we're probably going to have to need another jammer. Got about 1.6 miles. And about a minute left to do it. So that should be fairly easy for us. Easily able to avoid that guy. Dude, this thing feels solid. It just feels... It feels very, uh... Like, heavy but nimble. It, it, it's got a weight to it. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels nimble, but it with a bit of a weight, so it's just a lot more, uh predictable I guess you could say and look at that we got her done just like that absolutely perfect had quite a bit of time I think 25 seconds left to spare dude that was man almost got it done in, in under three three minutes pretty incredible new car available it's gonna be the speedster of course do we get something else though uh oh we're gonna start getting close to the hyper cars I, I, I think we're you know maybe maybe an episode or so away the Corvette ZR1 We'll take it, baby. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to see you guys in our next one when we hop back into the police side of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.